Uh, this girl's leaving. She's emotional. Um, Miss uh, Haram. <laughs> So get her out. <laughs> All right, just uh, make it quick. Then we don't got to make it a whole, uh, you know, okay. thing. Just let her get her stuff, and y'all, y'all could escort her out. Okay. And take her Instagram off the thing too. Yeah, Shorty's crying. Probably. Yeah. But... And here's the thing: that's sexual like empowerment for you. Yep. When, when you can't speak about her. what you do openly, and you you feel a certain way, it, it goes back to the biology, man. Women know deep down that yo, it, this is not acceptable for me to be doing this shit. Like it, it, they know it deep down. That's why, like, <laughs> there's why there's a reason why when a guy asks a girl, "What's your body count?" Whatever, they hesitate. They don't want to say it. There's a reason why when girls say, "I do OnlyFans" or whatever it may be, they're kind of hesitant to say it, right? Some girls I, might say I it out have... loud, but deep down, if you meet a man in your dreams, you ain't gonna tell him that shit. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. um, let me ask you this, and I'll go around the table. Do you think it's empowering to show your body off to strangers whacking off to you? And I, I mean, just being honest, do you think it is realistic? Because that's honestly what's going on. That's why the people are watching you. That is what is actually going on behind the screen. They're whacking off to you being naked. What is watching? Is that off. empowering? Jerking off. That in particular, <laughs> yes. Depending on where your mindset is in the moment, if you need that for your self confidence, and if that isn't what's what? empowering you and helping you, okay. Yeah. There, there. If there, if there are women who have been disrespected and told their whole life that they're set. If there mm -hmm. are women who have been disrespected their entire life and told That's that their true. sexuality is something that That's they should true. be ashamed of, but they find the freedom to project all of that to the world and they're able to release that to the world and 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 disarm themselves of the shame of their natural sexuality and Preach. their bodies and be completely proud of just who they are amen absolutely oh trust empowering. me they're gonna re release all right yeah they release some okay, nuts so, uh, so you're yeah, saying and that that's fine and that's fine but you know what and, and that's and, and that's fine because at the end of the day you don't know what someone has been through to be able to allow them to reach the point where they're confident enough to show their bodies to the world and they don't care that the internet is forever. That's true. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't know what someone has been through to come to the point to say, you know what, I'm not ashamed of this. And you don't know if they're looking for someone who is preferring an almost virgin. Mm -hmm. They might not want a Myron. They might not give two shits if a Myron is looking for them. Myron. Okay. Uh, okay. Myron. Myron. Yeah. Right? Okay. So at the end of the day, yes, I do believe that it can be extremely empowering. And it just depends on who you are and where you're coming from and what you've been through and what you've had to go through to get to the point where you say, you know what? This is me and I accept it and I love it and I'm comfortable with it. And I'm proud. So Timmy goes to school. Yes. Sees the OnlyFans page that yes. might be yours. Okay. Right? He's 15 years old. Okay. Gets home from school. Yes. Takes his pants off. Okay. Walks off. Uh huh. How is that empowering to you? How is it different from Timmy opening a Playboy magazine in 1979 and whacking off to one of those ladies in the Playboy Were magazine? Were you on magazine? Because you made a choice, right? Mm -hmm. To expose yourself. Okay. To the world. Uh, correct. However, Timmy. Someone's yes. got to do it. <laughs> it's a dirty job, but <laughs> someone's got to do Somebody it. Look, look, okay. You can do whatever you want. Yeah, I'm just saying. Sure. sure. It's it's kind of a dicey game to play. Uh, here's the it, it thing. Really is. You you okay. cannot. And this Yolo. is very interesting that you brought this point up. I find it very interesting how women don't want consequences <laughs> for poor decisions. If you sexualize yourself as a woman, nine out of ten times every man you deal with is going to sexualize you as well in reciprocation. A man cannot sexualize you or or uh how do i say this um objectify you unless you objectify yourself first correct that's the reality so correct you're saying society you know does these things and constricts women's sexuality whatever what if it's to protect them and the reason why it's to protect them is to keep men from giving them the evil eye and objectifying them and looking them at nothing more hmm. than a sexual object what if it's to promote modesty what if it's to keep that woman's value high to a degree where people don't disrespect her if because men let's care, be honest, they wouldn't own porn companies. There's a reason. Well, <laughs> I want to be pimps. Okay, but yes, th there's. <laughs> it's the truth. Men but, are just as bad well, with this. Men are just as bad as what? Like as as promoting this whole entire stereotype in women that it's okay for you to do, but not for my daughter to do. But someone else can do it, and I can make money off her, or I can own a porn company, or I could own all these things, and we should just do away with it for everybody then. Okay, I mean, that's the way the world operates. There's drug the dealers, there's operate. people involved in all that stuff. But I, I mean, if I'm a drug dealer, like, and I and I but get arrested, am I going to get mad? Do you watch mad porn? At the fact, no. Never? But, 
No, I make just my asking. own. I make my own if I'm okay. I'm just it. asking. But th- like that's, I asked your number that's kind of for a woman that's kind of deflecting that the would... question. The point I'm trying to say is that if you're going to make certain decisions, right? Fast money typically comes with slow problems. To be prepared for people to not respect you. There's a reason why when you go to a job interview, you dress a certain way. Why? So that you can get the job. You're putting your best foot forward. You're coming in a resume, coming in in a suit. You're well trained on the job, etc. So. I'm not telling you that you can't do pornography, but it is ridiculous to me how girls think that I should be accepted no matter how I behave. If I put a certain light out there, you got to accept it. What if I decided I want to eat Cheetos all day, be fat, drink Mountain Dew, Small weed. play video games, and I deserve a bad bitch. I deserve a baddie. She's becoming sucking my dick on command. No, you guys look at me like I'm delusional and I'm stupid, which as rightfully so, stupid. I am. I do not qualify <laughs> for this caliber of woman because I haven't put myself up to a certain situation. Mm-hmm. However, I find it hilarious that women think that the world owes them understanding and you don't understand. I had bills to pay or it was tough or I had to do this, blah, blah, blah. I'm not saying you can't do that. You can do it, but you need to understand that there are consequences to your actions and women are allergic to the word accountability. You're saying be sexually free, whatever it may be. That's cool. You can be sexually free, but don't sit there and expect people to respect you. They're not going to. Okay. So again, your own actions in life have proven that you didn't want to go that route. Why did you go to Cornell? Why did you get an education? Why did you, uh, you know, strive to go to an Ivy League school? If society well, respected women, they would pay nurses more, so I didn't have to actually go into this. Uh, okay, field. well, Let's just be honest. Yeah, okay, well, you could have, you know, tried to get a promotion, become a doctor, Promo- do something a doctor. else. So, but I, I was mean, a nurse. I took care of dying children, but I made nurse, more money being a porn star on the internet. Let's just let's just call a spade a spade. Yeah, because I'm, society doesn't give a fuck. They about care what? about respecting women like nurses, people that do this, teachers. They don't pay them the same as a porn star can make. So let's change that. Well, if you're so willing, women, it, 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 well, that's a personal decision that you made where you're willing to compromise. I try. I went that respect route. Respect. I went that for route. money, which is fine. I needed the money. I couldn't afford. I couldn't support myself on a nurse's salary. Nurses make six figures. I made. I live in New York City. I I, I made after taxes in New York City about a hundred thousand dollars a year. That is in the top fifteen percent of earners. I was never going to be rich. Okay. On a nurse's salary. So that's facts. So basically, you you decided. I said, yeah, I want to be rich. I, I don't want to be stressed I will compromise every single month. Where respect my, live paycheck, right? Paycheck. From people, because let's be honest, no yeah. one respects porn stars. I will compromise my respect for more money. And that's fine. That's I did. a decision you made. It's a decision I made. Uh, I stand by it. And, yeah. Okay. But you can't so get mad at society nurse. for not I accepting it. disagree with your comment that no one well, respects porn stars. No one does, dude. No one does. Even women in themselves. I'm not saying I wanted to be a porn star. I didn't wake even, up and even say, women in I'm going to go they, to college and when be a they porn star. Talk shit about each other. What's the first insult a girl says? You're, You're a, a fucking slut. Yeah. You're a hoe. I'm for it. She's, she's, mm-hmm. The first thing that women do when they insult each other is they attack their sexual past. Women will sit there and be there, say they're empowered, but that's the first attacking point is, You're a hoe, blah, blah, blah. So let's be honest here, man. Like, it's, it's not a, a profession that's respected, and it's going to disqualify you from a lot of men in a long term relationship. So you can be sexually free. But you gotta, gotta be. You gotta understand that freedom comes at a cost. No one is saying that they don't understand that. No one it just at comes all down s- to money at the end of the day. No, no, no one at all says that they don't understand the consequences of their actions. But I think that where I'm getting hung up on is you are generalizing <clears throat> so much. You say the women. The world this. operates in generalities. Okay. We have okay, to. Okay, fine. All right. Women, uh, sorry. Uh, too, too much work. Uh, this girl's leaving. She's emotional. Um, Miss uh, Haram. <laughs> so <laughs> get her out. All right. Yeah, just uh, make it quick then. We don't got to make it a whole, uh, you know, okay. thing. Just let her get her stuff and y- y'all could escort her Haram! out. Haram! And take her Instagram off the thing too. Yeah. Shorty's crying? Probably. Know, but... And here's the thing. That's sexual like empowerment for you. Yep. When, when you can't speak about her. what you do openly... And you you feel a certain way. It, it goes back to the biology, man. Women know deep down that yo, it, this is not acceptable for me to be doing this shit. Like it, it, they know it deep down. That's why, like, <laughs> there's why there's a reason why when a guy asks a girl, "What's your body count?" Whatever, they hesitate. They don't want to say it. There's a reason why when girls say, "I do OnlyFans" or whatever it may be, they're kind of hesitant to say it. Right? Some girls I, might say I it out loud, to... but deep down, if you meet a man of your dreams, you ain't gonna tell him that shit. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I have to just go ahead. For sensitivity, stop sure. you right there. Have you ever? Are, are you from a Muslim country? Are you Muslim? <laughs> yes. <laughs> You are Muslim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You are practicing Muslim. I'm a I'm a crappy Muslim. Haram. Haram. No, that. Haram. 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 Are you are you a practicing Muslim? Haram. Well, I could do better. Haram. Okay. So, but then you should understand mm-hmm. the amount of pressure and the amount of stigma that comes behind just a woman even showing her hair 
and the majority of her face and her ankles and her body in certain countries. Did you did you? I don't have to be Muslim to know that Saudi every Arabia? religion has has practiced okay. female modesty. But this is not religion. This is country. This is culture. This is everything that she's you know grown up. With so what are the chances that every with? culture on the face of the planet uh, uh, practices female modesty? Yeah. There's a reason for that. The, Think about that for a second. Think about it. Chinese, all the way to Native Americans, to the, the Islamic world, Christians, etc. They all practice modesty with women, right? But they never met each other, right? Until colonization is everything else like that. But but they all practice female modesty. Why? Because they understood that you got to protect a woman's value. It's a woman's job to preserve a value. It's a man's job to create his value. Okay. I'm not telling you you can't do what you want. But for you to sit there and say, yo, we should be accepted no matter what. That's re a ridiculous concept. You're not so sure, you cannot but, be accepted but, no matter but what. But you can but you can also respect the fact that, that it's a little triggering for someone such as yourself. Triggering like what? I'm just telling as the truth. In, uh, correct. But it's a little triggering for someone such as herself to, to be put in this position to be able to freely speak about all of these things that, again, her family, friends, people that she's grown up with, her entire culture has practically disowned her because of just the fact that she doesn't want to wear, you know, a hijab. But here's my thing. Well, Can reality, I say though. something? It's, it is reality. That, that's, that's reality. We're not, here's, here's the difference. This is why this podcast is popular. We mm -hmm. tell women to their face what men really think and how we how we view things. Men care about a woman's past. It is what it is. If you have certain types of traits or professions or you come from a certain background, it's going to disqualify you from a percentage of men. Mm -hmm. The thing is, is that we have an issue of male standards, but we don't have an issue of female standards. No one bats an eye when a girl says, I want a rich man, a guy that's tall, confident, ambitious. But when a guy says, I don't want a girl that's a porn star or a girl that has a promiscuous past or whatever. It's a problem. It's an issue. Yeah. I disagree. I think that's reasonable. <laughs> You're literally arguing right now for the country. You just no, said I but, disagree. Uh, no, I think I'm that's not. reasonable. <laughs> no, I, I think it's reasonable for every each and every individual to have their own particular standards. That's a hundred percent. But then you have to be OK with the backlash that comes from it because yeah, right. a lot of people are like you know i'm super secure this is what i do and fuck everything else and then this happens and she has to leave that means she's not completely abstracting of what she's doing well, exactly. we also don't know psychologically why she, we, we also don't know we're also supposing why she's emotional i i have to no 100 percent, and i understand exactly why she what, would be like that but what i'm saying her. is she could have got a text that her dog died we don't know why she, she doesn't have a problem with her. <laughs> so nice try. The, the reality is she knows that objectifying herself on the Internet for money, clicks and attention is not the natural state of order of things. Women typically don't want to do that. OK, she's doing it. What? You got. Yes, she does only fans. Mm -hmm. oh, OK. <laughs> You're making an argument yeah, yeah, yeah. for yeah. something you're not even aware of. Yo, somebody say grandma, man. <laughs> oh, oh my bro. God. Well, that, yo, that goes to show like, yo, women will protect each other even if they don't know the facts, bro. Jeez, We're telling you the truth, man. You can do what you want, but you can't get mad at the consequences. Okay, so you're, but men will not protect each other even if they don't know the facts? <laughs> No, men don't give a shit. No. Yeah, man. Men won't yeah. protect each other? If a dude's a bum, he's a bum, and society is going to ostracize him for it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you... Like, if a guy doesn't perform, he feels the reality of his inadequacies. Sure, he does. Okay. But, but if a woman doesn't behave him? in a certain way, she does not feel the reality of her inadequacies, why? which is why yeah. this podcast is popular. I'm yeah. telling you all right now how men really view girls that are in certain professions, and you guys don't like it because you haven't been told this. We, we, are, we are indoctrinated to lie to women and tell them, you should be accepted no matter how you behave. And I'm here to tell y'all, fuck that shit. No, we're not going to accept you no matter how you behave. Just like you're not going to accept us no matter how much money we make or, or we have to make a certain amount of money. We have to behave a certain way. We have to act a certain way. Men have to perform. Why shouldn't women have to perform? And if you make certain decisions, you should be disqualified from certain uh, you know, um, opportunities. But we tell women they can have the world and, the no, matter, no matter what. And let me ask you something really quick. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> I mean, like, what... I, I don't know why you're trying to put this. I'm just telling you how men in general speak <laughs> and think about this and uh, do this. Can I ask a question to yeah. like all the girls here? Yeah. And be honest, please. Okay. Okay. Because we all have that one home girl, right? Yeah. That you know that you cannot trust her around your man. And you will not trust her around your man. Okay. <laughs> Is am I lying? I don't have any. No. Yeah, I would never have, have a friend like that. Constantly. No, but I'm just saying. I'm not saying your close friend. I'm saying a friend in your group that you know she. You know she's. <laughs> she you never. Group. I mean, and that's I don't know. I don't what agree with, that? with the question. We were talking what about? I'm saying with asking. the question is, is like. <laughs> 
Don't get annoyed. I'm, just, I'm, I'm not speaking annoyed. my I'm mind. Asking. I just don't understand um, in the context. What we we're just need. To, like, what clarity. I'm saying is, yeah. if a guy's just on a certain status, he will not hang out around a guy that's a bum. But what is so, that what is so it's the same thing. So we're all hypocritical. Fuck. Because we're saying something that, you know, it's like you have to be <laughs> able to be okay with your decision and you have to be able to be okay with the consequences. I'm like, if anybody really did not give a fuck, then nobody will get mad at what they're saying right now. No, I'm not mad. No, I don't think. But that's what I'm saying in general. I'm okay. like, you know, you make your life choices and you have to live by that choice. I'm like, if people don't agree with them, great that's awesome i live your life have your opinion that does not affect me because i'm okay with the person that i am i think what she was trying to get here correct me if i'm wrong was that even other women don't necessarily want to tolerate promiscuous women a hundred percent a hundred percent for all you guys that are sitting yes. here saying well maybe you didn't word it correctly yeah, yeah, yeah you were terrible at explaining was, it which sorry, sorry. My bad. Okay. But what she's trying like to say is that even asking. women don't accept don't a promiscuous women in their friend group because they're a liability for their own man aka a hundred percent and that is true and that is true this is an assumption and a judgment you're passing a judgment saying that every woman that does only fans I never said up. I never mentioned only fans. I said in your friend group. Okay, I didn't say friend. only fans. Okay, just I have plenty clarify. of friends that do sure, sure, that do clarify. only fan, and I don't just judge them, and I love them, and I accept them for exactly who they are. Somebody called Daquan Willis Shire for his grandma. Anyhow. Yeah, and and I, I want to say this too, real fast. I didn't hear what you said for the ladies here that might be involved in only fans, whatever. I'm not saying that you're a hoe by being on only fans. hundred percent. But you are wearing a hoe's uniform. That's the fucking truth. Okay, so it. guys it are going to it. assume. It's hold on, assume. guys are going to assume that about you, uh, off rip. Just like if I came up to you at a club. I do agree that a woman has to work harder to prove herself if she's an OnlyFans model. Hundred percent. Yeah, yeah I agree. I, yeah. yeah, but what's the difference we, between an OnlyFans model or like a real estate agent being a slut? No, no, Just be because she doesn't have OnlyFans doesn't mean she's not a slut. It's a, it's so, a, it's a, it's a perception. But, right. but if I choose to be a slut, I'm not doing it publicly. I do it in behind closed doors no, no. with my man. Yeah, and so nobody has... Does that make it worse? <laughs> no, of course it's it makes it worse. Because it's a perception. It's a but perception. Because, 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 because for example, we know one found girls that are not out there like that. They just do content mm -hmm. and they, they just stay at home. However... They're going to assume from seeing your page, oh, she's for the streets. Versus and everybody a, assumes about people. It doesn't matter girl, where you do it. It's a natural yeah. thing. Versus a regular girl mm -hmm. that's going to clubs. She's fucking for free. Everybody. She's for the streets. But guess what? They see you because you, you, you promote it on your page. So it's like Optics are perception. important, ladies. Yeah. Optics are perception. important. It's for the same exact reason you show up to a job interview or somewhere you want to go. Reputation is everything. And for a man, optics are extremely important. If, guy, if a guy... As fucked up as it is. Bro, but bro, bro, it's bro, bro. everything. Yeah, relax. One, one, one mic at a time, please. Yeah. <laughs> if if Because here's the thing. We know girls that are professionals that are big ass hoes and girls that are on OnlyFans that are, or porn stars that have lower body counts. Yeah. However... She looks like a hoe, so they're gonna assume she's a hoe based on her profession alone. Yeah. So that's gonna you're gonna have a chip on your shoulder. You're gonna have to prove yourself way more than a regular girl. Mm -hmm. And some guys might just write you off the rip because he's like, "Yo, if I walk around in public with this girl, people are gonna have seen her asshole for three ninety nine. I don't want that <laughs> shit." And that's how men view the world. That's how men view their women. Men are very territorial with their There's girl. Nothing wrong with that. Why am I paying full price and giving you the security in my last name in a relationship when someone else only paid five ninety nine to see you naked? All right, for the ladies, real quick, going back because uh, we asked before, it does uh, OnlyFans empower you? Okay, are you okay, right? For the girls that actually do OnlyFans or are involved or were involved in the sex industry, whatever it may be, are you okay with the fact that um, you might disqualify yourself from other potential suitors and or people won't take you seriously? Yeah, in the I'm future? okay with it right now because I want to make my bread. Okay, but when you get out, are you okay with guys still looking back yeah. and saying no? There's like so many people on this planet, so yeah. Okay. So you, you think that there'll be someone out there? Yeah, absolutely. Now, the question is, will it be the guy that you actually want? I don't know. I don't know the future. <laughs> I'm just optimistic. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, you have a husband, so that's fine. What about you? Wait, what? Um... Are you okay with the Are you okay with the fact that you, from your current behavior, that you might disqualify yourself <laughs> from certain guys Am in the I future? Am I okay with that? Yeah. <laughs> Or sir, uh, uh, yeah, uh, I am okay with that. I am okay with it because I I made the decision. Okay, but um, those people aren't even in my realm anymore. Like they're not even in my path. Like I don't even know those people exist. You know. Okay, I guess you know ignorance is bliss sometimes. Mm -hmm. Uh, but what about your dream guy out there? Do you think that my dream guy? Yeah. Well, I'm with a very amazing man right now. The one you keep breaking up with. <laughs> well, because life's complicated. You know, not everything's perfect. It that is, that eighty year old couple, even though they didn't have social media or whatever. What does he think about your OnlyFans? Who does? Your guy. 
my man. Mm-hmm. Um, he does it with me. Interesting. Has it ever mm-hmm. been like a topic of conversation? Uh, in what terms? Like, hey, I don't like you doing this, or you know, maybe you should drop this, or don't lie. Uh, completely honestly, it's probably mostly on my side that says that I don't want to do it. It's like he's a pimp. No, he's not a pimp, but he. It's complicated. You're the breadwinner. Oh, I'm definitely not the breadwinner. He's the breadwinner. Yes. So then, why are you doing OnlyFans if you don't want to do it? Because Daddy says so. All right, here and then here we go because it's it's a complicated relationship. Um, but Bruh. he, I mean, it's mostly about my future, like in, in in terms of like career and status, like social status. It's not anything like super personal in terms of like our love for each other. If that, it's just complicated, it doesn't like. What are you saying? How does OnlyFans <laughs> help your? If anything, that would hurt your potential future status. And... <laughs> I mean, so that's sure. not really true. Unless you want to get into the sex industry, which if you want to do that, that's different. But I'm a, I, being on OnlyFans, you are in the sex industry. That's what I'm saying. So, like, but, if you, but you don't want to be in it. So I'm a little confused as to why continue. Well, to... okay. I did it before I met him. Okay. You know, right. I stopped. Okay. So I stopped when I made enough money to make a lot of money in crypto. Okay. And then, you know, like, that's a whole other story. Rabbit hole, whatever. <laughs> long story short recently this year um just like big blow up you know i went back on only fans and this time i'm with him you know and he's basically just like supporting my it's so complicated because there are, you really there are suck at explaining yourself there, yeah, yeah i do because there are definitely Jesus. things that i agree with you on that i know that i don't even I guess I don't want you to call me out on or something. I have but... one question. Yeah, yeah, she's withholding a lot of information yeah. because you know that we're going to point out contradictions and make fun of you. Hold I on. get it. Does it get cut? Not necessarily contradictions, Does it get cut but the money? just... Sorry? Does he get some, some of the money or no? No, he doesn't. He has his own money. He's good. Oh. I'm confused, bro. I... Sounds off here that she doesn't want to say. Yeah, I'm confused. Because she's you can tell she's talking around certain things yeah. and Talk to me avoiding in my certain eye, things. In my eyes. What, what do you mean? Pimping ain't easy, bro. I've been looking at you in the eye the whole time. Pimping ain't easy, brother. You're talking you, about me, easy. sir. You, can, you can't even articulate what's going on in your situation because you're trying to avoid saying certain things for fear of embarrassment, which I understand. That's fine. It's not fear of embarrassment. It's just you guys just don't know all the details. Like, it's not black and white. It's pretty gray, you know? I mean, and that's okay if you don't agree. Which with why me. we turned it to you to say that, and you can't even say it. Say what? Jesus Christ! Holy! But it's, this is not a podcast about her relationship, though. I mean, they're just like you know, direct questions. He's direct help, answer. He helps me so fucking much. Like it's like he helps. Me I'm sure so he much. helps you. All right. Uh, in so many ways, like <laughs> he. Okay, when I say like, oh, he does it with me. It's like he's just okay with like being in a scene, like just like, oh, baby, like want to get in here with me, like like he's okay. He with helps that. you so much that you guys but, constantly break up. Whatever, something ain't adding up here, but that's fine. Yeah, so Sounds four, off here. So four X went down. She well, went because, back to him. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> get the fuck out of here, bro. Get the fuck out of here. I'm a four X trader. Bullshit. But, okay, Bullshit. He, he is a multi-millionaire four X trader. He's a big influencer. You I'm sure he is. He's Instagram. probably badass. But I'm telling you right now, that, you're not a four X trader. Wait, that comes with a lot of territory. Uh, what's his name? His name is. But, no, I don't know. Don't, I don't do, do him like don't that. Don't do him. Like that. 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 that was so close. Oh, God damn. Well, I can tell you after this. I was out of breath. I can tell you after. I pro- I probably know him. Yeah, yeah. Well, signs off. No. Anytime a girl mul- initiates a breakup multiple times or whatever, signs off, bro. Yo, chat was okay, so close. Like, it, it honestly just goes directly to your beliefs. Like he is a he's a 25 year old male about to be 26. He's a millionaire. He has a big social media. Fo- he has a big social media following. Wait, so what black? do you expect from a what man black? like that? Right. To be monogamous. Is he black? You're, no, he's not. He's. It, like Hispanic. Italian, Greek. He's from New York, from Long Island. Long Island. So you think you're gonna have a 26 year old millionaire all to yourself monogamy wise? Exactly, and that's why we keep breaking up. Oh, fresh, you know? <laughs> that's just. This, I ain't saying nothing, bro. Uh, this is uh, not maintaining mm. frame in a relationship. That's what this break boils down to. That's fine. Not maintaining what? It's fine. That's a whole other thing. No, but it's it's me as a 24 year old. I'm just learning. I'm learning like what a relationship is like, especially with a high value man. And as, as you, a troll thing, and you're, I'm not saying this is exactly what I believe, but your argument is it not that like when you're in, in a relationship with a high value man? Like, let me let me make something very clear here. A woman is a spitting mirror image of her man's masculinity. The way a woman speaks about her man when he's not present says a lot about the man. I don't have to say a word to him, know who he is, 
just off of the way that you speak about him, I can tell you don't respect him. Done. <sighs> so he's fucking up some things significantly. I know when a girl respects her man just based off how she speaks to him. I that speaks about him. He he does so much for me. And but I yet you him. still don't he respect him. And I can tell how, from the way that you speak about him that you don't. How so? How so? How so? You know I'm telling the truth, which is why you want to figure out why how I know that. Well, tell me. Yeah, no, you I, don't wanna, you don't I know it. The whole you. audience knows it. Everybody knows that. Top Jew. You're with him as a means to an end. I get it. I understand. That's fine. Okay, going back. Uh, dismissive. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not being dismissive. You just really suck at articulating yourself and you couldn't bring it full circle, land the plane. So I'm landing it because for you. Because I'm not giving you a straight answer because things aren't black and white. They're gray. Oh, no, they're very black and white. I can see it. For you, yeah. Listen, words are one thing, actions are another. I've been watching very facts. closely. Yeah, facts. What are you watching? Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Have you ever had a yo, dream? man. <laughs> what's the problem? What's actually what's the problem? Bro, just watch this show back, and you'll see what I'm saying. Just watch this show back. I will. Watch this show back. You do. You can. Okay, go, on to, go back to you. Do you think? Um, do you think your past and or your profession will disqualify you from certain, from certain individuals, and you're okay with that? I'm okay with that. Fair enough. You're not in it. Are you not in it because of fear of being able to build a future with someone? Is that a part of it? No, I just don't want like a bad reputation. <laughs> Which is exactly what it's I said. Okay. Yeah. The bad reputation yeah. is directly tied to being able to lock a guy down. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about you? Well, I'm not in she it. Line it. Yeah, but I'm, I know she's not. But why? What? What is the reason why? Out of respect for my father, he was so amazing to me growing okay. up, and like I'm the light of his life. I will never do that to him. Okay. What about you? Are you okay with a guy um, not taking you seriously in the future, potentially, or losing certain opportunities with men based on what you're doing? Yeah. You're okay with that? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm already doing it, so <laughs> <laughs> there's no going back. <laughs> Fair enough. Yep. <laughs> um, and then you, you don't do it, but why didn't you, you, you chose the, you know, an Ivy League path and getting into the professional world. Why'd you choose that over doing that when you can make more money? I don't think I can make more money. Uh, you see but... her, she's killing it. Sure. Uh, okay. So, so, but well, to answer your question, your yeah. question directly, I yeah. again, my skills are much better suited in different arenas. I just don't. I, I can barely post a story. I, I don't. I don't have patience for content creating. That's not my skill set. It's because you can't see on the phone or eyesight. That's so funny. That's oh, half okay. of it. Yes, Thank I keep my phone on I, full I, I like how you. I like how you I navigated. I don't know if y'all right notice that. Yeah, she, again. she navigated that answer perfectly to stay with within a certain lane without necessarily offending the other girls. <laughs> so I, I really like that. I, I like that. Clever. Um, very good. Someone spoke with their publicist before the show. Um. <laughs> And we've noticed that that girls have a tough time being direct and like about their their views. You've done a pretty good job at it, at oh. the risk of offending some of the other ladies on the panel. Well, that's why I'm that, here. That, this is not. No, I, I'm not I trying to offend no, anybody. Chris. I'm not. I'm so, just going to speak my mind and, like I said, and say exactly how I feel. I am very progressive and liberal about my body. I just don't have the time for content creating. My my skill set <laughs> is better is is better used in other arenas. It just is. I have more patience for business and numbers and than, than I do for. For making videos and editing and, that's why and hosting. Hire a team. That's why you get a team. <laughs> yeah. Do you think they edit their own videos? <laughs> Again, I, I'm. It's not. Need, I'm not interested. It doesn't hold my interest. But it doesn't you. hold my interest. It, that this is a thing. This is a choice. These people are interested. Political in it. science major, my friend. Oh These my people God. are interested in it. These people are interested in it. It doesn't interest me. I have someone for you. DSG, <laughs> As politician well. man. Yeah. yeah, she's giving good politically correct answers, which yeah. you know I, I would not expect any less. Omni designs, Omni designs ladies, you need to respect yourselves. A high value man will never wife a three hundred four. Yeah, it happens. What happens? Though? Yeah. Can I ask? Can I ask what's a three hundred four? Yeah. Uh, if you take a graphic calculator. calculator or a calculator in general, you put three hundred four and you flip it upside down. It says ho. Oh okay. my god. Yes. I'm I was studio. born in Cuba, Late. so I'm sorry. You got calculators there, I'm sure. No one asked. But no, we didn't know how to spell ho. <laughs> okay, nice, nice. Ladies, can you listen to Myron? <laughs> These realities are harsh and truthful. Unfortunately, you ladies didn't have a strong father figure to guide you the right way. Okay. <laughs> we got Dr. Dre says in the 101 year history of the Miss America pageant, the oldest winner has been was 25 years old. And that's only happened four times. Youngest was 16 years old, 1921. Pause. The symmetry, the symmetry, three or four is used to parallel. Genders end up hurting them. Uh, 
Cool. Okay. <laughs> I think that's to make the point that younger women are universally more attractive under 25. True. Is, is what he's trying to articulate. That's, what, that's what men actually want. Yeah. So, uh, you know, Asagi. it's, it's, if left, if, if a guy could pick uh, a 30 year old versus a 20 year old, all things equal, <laughs> he's going to go with the 20 year old dude every yeah. single time. Uh, the one next to Myron actually speaking about old money and dating for marriage. The rich kid is going to bang the McDonald's girl, but marry the daughter of a good family. Social status matters, not pop culture status. Uh, Nove rich versus old money. Okay. Uh, the Latina in a tan coat next to Saudi girl is 100% wife material. Okay, Patrick, Jason, shoot your shot. And that other one from Dalmar. Uh, three diglets, jerking, choking the chicken, pulling it, giving it a tug, flogging the bishop, getting your pole varnish, fishing for brown trout. <laughs> Shake that hole, I guess. That nigga be wildin'. Sean A says, I strongly believe that a number of young men that off themselves will increase due to bullying with their mom on OnlyFans. I mean, that's a good point, man, because, I mean, currently, bro, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. If you have kids and then they go to school, haha, your mom's OnlyFans. It can be pretty tough, so. All right, Fresh, last... uh... Okay, ladies, it's been a great show. However, last thoughts on the show. So tell us, comments, questions, last thoughts on the show, and we'll start right here. Oh my gosh, why do you always start? Because <laughs> you're right next to me. I hate being the first one to answer stuff. <laughs> Come on. That's... Ask her first. No, okay. no, no, no. I'll go no, 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 for sure. So just tell us thoughts about the show. Hate it, love it. How's the show for you? I think I think it's really funny and entertaining. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and why? I, I don't really care if people shit on me. Like it's just funny. <laughs> tough. You have tough skin? Yeah, I guess. I mean you have to in this industry. Gotcha. I mean, okay. so wait you say shit on you. I mean, physically or oh just my God. physically? <laughs> I mean, oh, I'm, I'm okay. saying Chris. Oh, Chris, come on, bro. Come on, bro. Oh, That's uncalled oh, oh, oh. for, That's a call for oh, yeah. uh, I learned a lot today. <laughs> I would actually like to sit down with you guys and hear more, actually, like later. Really? Like another, yeah, because it's, I need to hear this stuff. You know what I mean? Like you guys said, you're saying things, that, I mean, not everything that you've said, but mm. some of the stuff, it's like, damn, you know, like men are simple. I didn't. I didn't really... Has no one ever told you these things by chance or you heard it on no. off? Never? No. Interesting. Yeah. I was like, huh. A couple of things you guys have said, I'm like, damn. Because we say that most guys lie to girls because they want to get sex. So if you're being honest with a girl, you tell her the truth. However, if they just want to smash, they'll tell you what you want to hear. So, all right. What about you? I know you've, you've had a rough time explaining no. yourself, but... I, honestly, I had a good time and I thought I explained myself well. But it's hard <laughs> to definitely talk when I feel like I'm constantly being dismissed. No, oh. we hear you. Trust me, but you gotta make sense. I, I mean, I'm making sense to like what I think makes sense. I think what you guys are getting frustrated is because I'm not giving you like a straight up answer because there is no straight up answer. But Have you ever fine. had a dreams that that you um you had <laughs> you? I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I definitely had fun. I definitely had fun? fun. Yes. Yeah. I think you guys are awesome. I, I think, Honestly, even I think, you guys, I think you guys are sick. I'll keep I'll be honest. You're an attractive girl. Typically what I've tend to notice is that attractive girls suck at articulating themselves because guys don't tell them you sound stupid. So no 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 offense. I'm not stupid though. You sounded stupid. Why? Because you were barely able to articulate a point when we asked you very because I don't questions. want to share all my business on here. Oh, okay. And, and you should. You can go ahead and say that excuse. But, but, but that's fine. I mean, like I said before, just say that from the beginning. Uh, yeah, I just yeah or, or yeah. yeah, talking in a circle, saying a bunch of word salad. It, it, it doesn't. We're not on a diet. You don't give us yeah. a salad. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I disagree, but okay. Bro. <laughs> Watch the podcast back and you'll yeah. see what I'm talking about. Was that not the I mean, cutest I, I disagree with? Yeah, yeah. Like, I disagree. Yeah. And again, this is, yo, I, I, pretty privilege is a thing. Like, girls yeah, are able is. to get by a lot of times if they're cute saying dumb shit because no one checks them on it. You know, yeah. Bill Burr said it famously. Asagi. Like, no, a lot of women don't say stupid shit because no one ever tells them that's dumb because they want to fuck them. Yeah, they want to smash. That's okay. what he just said. Subscribe to my OnlyFans. Now. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, what about you? Promo. Um, as long as you don't talk, they'll be okay. Yeah. So I'm always open minded. I like to listen to men and what they think, and I do learn from it. So this was a an interesting and educational podcast, and okay. I would tune in more. Yeah. It also helps me with dating as I get older and knowing what men want. Wait, older? You're what? Thirty? What? Thirty-seven. Oh, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, if like what? You're older right now. Oh. I am older. I'm older. I'm old. So 45? Oh! What? So 45 then? I'll date until the day I die. Okay. All right, cool. You live once. Have fun. <sighs> Chris, <laughs> oh. somebody for everyone. <laughs> okay. What about you? 
I mean, I didn't talk much, but I liked listening. It was interesting. I liked the roasts <laughs> the most, to be honest. But no offense to the girls, but it was interesting. <laughs> I'm here for the beheading. <laughs> she left? It's yeah, Jafar. Yeah, Alleg she allegedly, Myron. She left. Yeah, she left. Alleg allegedly. Haram. 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 All right. All right. Well, I, I was here for the beheading. I guess Haram. I'm like. Allegedly. Right. Allegedly, Myron. Whatever. Allegedly. Take your head up. Yeah, I'm out there. All right. Peace. Yeah. That's, uh, head out. Get it? Head That's out. That's Sonny Myron. <laughs> wow. <laughs> what about you? Wow. Oh, my God. Well, wow. I just, I, I love. Um, you were spinning. <laughs> I don't think so. I mean, I, I just give my honest opinion. I think that. Again, people are always going to come from a place of where they, you know, their experiences in life. So we cannot judge anybody based on anything because they did not go through the same things that you did, that you went through. They did not have the same parents that did not have. And that's not their fault at the end of the day. It's not 100 percent not their fault. Um, I grew up in a very. Like, I guess conservative household i grew up in a i better whole... never see you on only fans i'm not gonna play I'm here and you know <laughs> play goody two shoes like i i you know you go to my instagram and it's not she like so... to the you're just not getting paid for it yeah oh no no it's not that i'm not getting paid for it it's that i'm not posting myself no, but 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 you know, know, I came with a blazer, guys. Yeah, 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 but, Literally. <laughs> but you know what's funny? Uh, after being in the streets myself, it's funny because the girls that are not as out there like that be the worst, bro. The ones that are quiet. A hundred percent. It's the little quiet ones so, at the end of the I day. No, but I'm just saying, like, some are really like, bad. So. Like, really bad. Same thing with not the guys. Real. Like, Very I'm more sense. interested if I see a guy that's like quiet and to like a mysterious vibe. I'm like, that's the worst one. They and are then the worst. They are they the are worst, worst ones. I, 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 the only thing I'll disagree with you on is like, it, just because someone comes from a background or whatever, that does not excuse stupid behavior. If you're if no, you're if I'm you came saying... from a poor neighborhood, right, and you sell drugs, you deserve to go to jail. If you grew up in an abusive household, but you decide, you know what, I grew up in a shitty household, I'm going to kill people and do things, you deserve to go to jail. And that is your Swiss. mentality, and I agree a thousand percent with it. But what I'm saying is, I'm not a in a position myself to judge anybody that made the decisions based on the way that they were brought up. I made my reality was shaped on how I was raised, on how I conduct myself, and like I said. I could be worse than everybody here that has an OnlyFans. I'm not disagreeing with that. What I'm saying is... I... You don't want to offend the girls on the panel, so you're being politically correct sitting on the fence. I get okay. it. It's fine. No, I'm not <laughs> sitting on the fence at all. I mean, I just think that women put themselves in a position where it's like, listen to me, I'm right, yada, yada. And you learn the most when you shut up and listen to other people's perspective. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah. You're single, right? No. Oh, you're not. Remember, mm. it's it's complicated. It's complicated. I literally broke up last night, but I'm 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 gonna make it work. Oh, last night. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm sure you make work a lot. <laughs> listen. Okay. Listen. Why? Uh, yeah, listen. Oh. No, because uh, I I can just like. Ne never mind. Just say it. Say it with your chest. Don't be. I said everything I needed to that say. That man is suffering, bro. That's what I'm saying. That nigga's suffering, bro. Oh my God. God damn. Oh, he yeah. Is. Yeah, he's suffering. You talk a lot. There's God a reason damn, why. Nigga. There's a reason why men have historically said, uh, you know, <laughs> women are to be seen and not heard, bro. God like, God damn. damn. Like women, guys Whoa. love quieter girls, man. Like nobody bro. likes opinionated women, especially I when understand. opinions are wrong sometimes. <laughs> imagine being going, imagine going on vacation. <laughs> God, bro. Yeah, this is tough. I get lots of stuff. No, no, it's all good. This podcast, it's we're all good. Yeah, yeah it's fine. Right. I mean, if that's how you see it, I I could agree. I am too much, but then go find less. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. Yes, let's yeah. quiet. What about you? It was fun. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> see? You, see? you can have him. You guys have like. Okay. It was fun. You guys have points that like should be <laughs> oh, talked yeah, about more. more, obviously, <laughs> but the, you just you guys just have the balls to say it's that. hard conversations. You know what I mean? Like this this is never talked about, has never been talked about. So the fact that you guys are doing it is it is obviously gonna get you guys a lot of what's the word for that? Like um viewership? No, it's gonna get you like a blah, blah, yeah, like a lot of controversy. Mm -hmm. Obviously, isn't that crazy? We're telling talking... the truth that like a woman's past matters or something like that to guys is considered controversial now. Yeah, who who the hell talked about that stuff before? Well, guys Not can't talk much. about it. Yeah, because then like, they get called selfish if they do. Social media. Are you really gonna bring that shit back at <laughs> me? Did there. Okay. Yeah, I pay attention to everything y'all say, man. Okay. Because <laughs> I listen to understand. I can't mm -hmm. attack your arguments unless I listen, understand. 
and come back with something. That's the difference. I don't listen to just hear you. I actually do try to understand. Then it doesn't make sense. Then I articulate back. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> All right. What but, about uh, you? Cool. No. I... All the night. Stop, man. Oh, Sorry, chat. Try it, man. You have anything? Just keep it no, short no, no. and simple. Okay. <laughs> Justin, what can 